Hi guys, this is a video showing you strumming pattern number seven of my strumming guitar course. This strumming pattern is triplet strumming, which is has a very folky sound to it and is appropriate for certain songs that is unlike any other count that we're going to do um, in this whole strumming course. So this is something a little bit different. I'm going to demo this on an E minor chord because it's nice and easy and let me just demo it first of all. Now this is to a count of three strums per beat. So this is where the triplet idea comes from. And one triplet is written like this. So when we have a triplet, we have a little number three um, indicating that we have three in the time of two, which is technically what a triplet is. So to demo this with a slow count, we would have one and that, two and that. And a four and a. And it gives this sort of rolling kind of swing to it. But the best idea is to listen to a couple of song examples with this. Um, my first example would be Mull of Kintyre, which the intro of which. You can tell it has this one and a two and a count to it. There's also a working class hero. By John Lennon. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. Um, as I say, we're going to be demoing this with just the standard E minor chord, which I play with my first two fingers. And we're going to slightly emphasize the beat, which is the first of every three. So you've got a pattern of three, one and a, and we're just gonna play one a little bit louder so that you've come across this before and you can have a go with songs. So join in with me in two and a, three and a, four and a, one and a, two and a, four and a, one, two, three, everything on a down strum. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. Couple more. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. And pause there. That's essentially all we're going to cover with this one. It's just the count that's very different. So to recap about the time signatures, 4-4 four, four is four beats in the bar, like the first strumming pattern we went for. One, two, three, four, or any of the eighth strumming patterns. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. And then we have this triplet strumming pattern, which adds three in the time of two for each beat. So rather than one and for a beat, we have one and a. Ah. One and a, ah, two and a, ah, three and a, ah, four. And that is triplet strumming. Okay, that's the end of this particular one. We're gonna get straight on to um, strumming pattern eight. And this next section of strumming patterns after this video are the three most common strumming patterns that will be used for every musical situation. These are the big guns that you're gonna be using all the time. And hopefully the work you've put in so far will really pay off in these next three strumming patterns that you're gonna learn and with the songs that you can showcase that use these strumming patterns. So I'll see you in those next lessons.